Although movement is a major reason for needing an uncoupling membrane, the Dietra installation manual lists four critical reasons why a good tile installation needs this membrane. Brian, can you walk us through these four and let's start with this uncoupling. Well, the Dietra provides uncoupling through its open rib structure. It neutralizes movement stresses between substrate and tile. These are caused by changes in temperature, moisture, and this will eliminate a major cause of cracking and delaminating of the tile surface. All right, how about support? Well, we can gain support and load distribution by the column-like mortar structures that are formed in the cutback cavities of the Dietra, transferring loads from the tile covering to the substrate. And then there's waterproofing. Well, today's building materials require effective moisture management. Dietra protects the substrate from moisture penetration. But there's moisture or, or vapor management as well. Right. The Dietra controls uh, vapor management from the substrate through the existence of free space created by the channels on the underside of the Dietra. Dealing with the challenges of all these substrates and doing it in a layer of about one eighth of an inch thick. Now you actually have a uh, thicker one as well. Right, we also have the Dietra XL. The XL provides the same four essential functions that Dietra does. Uncoupling, support load distribution, waterproofing, and vapor management. It is thicker, it's about 5 16 of an inch thick, which increases its uncoupling capacity. But it also gives us the ability to create even transitions to hardwood flooring. Oh, now that's really nice. Now, you also have this narrow curdy band that you brought over from the shower systems. Why are we using this on a floor? Well, the curdy band will allow us to create a fully waterproof floor. We actually install it right over the seams of the Dietra. And then we can also use it to do a floor to wall connection. So we're totally waterproof with the Dietra and the curdy band. Now, this can save a floor or an owner from replacing the tile assembly and substructure in the event of a leak from a washing machine line or a dishwasher, particularly with wood subfloors. Curdy band can be used to seal the seams and at floor wall connections. And of course, all of this is achieved with thin set mortar. Can you explain to us the difference between the uh, modified and the unmodified thin set mortar? Well, these are two totally different mortars and we are very specific on when to use one over the other. Now, in the Dietra handbook, we're gonna specify what thin set mortar we used to install the Dietra over the substrate and what mortar we specify to install the tile over the Dietra. So it's all in the handbook. You wanna look up your particular tile application, what substrate, what tile, and all that, and get the details there. Don't forget, you can download the entire handbook right now from this website. So these four functions are why Dietra is suitable for so many substrates and conditions. Now, since that first layer is so important, Brian, talk to us about, well, let's start with a wood substrate. Right, wood substrates are subject to expansion, contraction, bending, and deflection as a result of changes in moisture. Now, this moisture, especially with wood substrates, it's continually absorbed and released, so there's where the vapor diffusion is really important. But just think, if we poured some water over this wood substrate, it's not, it wouldn't be good for the wood substrate, would it? Right. So the Dietra acts at the waterproofing membrane. And also, the bending and deflecting, so we need the uncoupling, the load distribution. So all four of them are critically important. Really particularly important. Particularly with a thin covering like this. Right. Now, concrete is something that appears to be far more stable. What are its problems as a substrate? Well, with concrete, it can expand and contract at twice the rate as most tile. So we need the tile to be uncoupled from the concrete. And the changes really occur early on with concrete. During its drying time, it'll shrink. So we could have some cracks developing. So by using the Dietra, we uncouple the tile from these cracks and stresses. We're also able to go over young concrete. And that's because, again, with the vapor diffusion, it can allow the moisture to you know, build up below the Dietra without causing any pressure to the right. tile on top. Without some sort of control. In fact, you usually have to wait a whole month for Minimum. The, to get rid of the water in the concrete before you try to put tiles on or you get efflorescence and everything else in there. Right. Now we can also go over pre-stressed and post-tension concrete as well with the Dietra. Okay. How about uh, gypsum concrete, which is also called poor gypsum underlayment. Uh, it's quite different. Right, and in our picture, it looks a lot like concrete, and in some ways it is. 
You know, we're gonna have a lot of shrinkage. There's a lot of water typically used with these products. But one thing that's a little bit different with gypsum screeds is that they're really affected by moisture. So we're using the DITRA as a waterproof membrane as well. We wanna prevent water from re-entering into the gypsum screed. Coming from the top down. The right, right, because these gypsum screeds will break down if they continue to get wet. Okay. And uh, if my wife just wants to add that uh, radiant heating to a floor like this, uh, everything gets carried away, exaggerated, well, or what? Well, temperature changes will change the expansion contraction of a substrate. So whether it's concrete, like we see here, or the electric systems on a wood subfloor, again, the uncoupling is really important because your substrates are going to expand and contract at a greater rate than they did without these heating systems. And so you, that brings back the uncoupling to even be able to withstand those extremes in right. expansion and contraction. Absolutely. Okay. The keys to successful installation over all these substrates are the four we've been talking about. Uncoupling, the structural support, waterproofing, and the vapor management.